How's it going everybody? Welcome back to our Pokemon Heart Gold series. In the last episode, we found out what our legendary was. It turned out to be a Regirock, which was had pretty good typing. It was pretty good typing, but obviously wasn't perfect, but wasn't terrible. Um, the good strategy of Dark Voiding was also really good. Was also really good. And in today's episode, we're going to get to the edge of it. Basically, going to get to the start of Victory Road. And then next episode we'll go through Victory Road. Aiming to hopefully catch a cool, a cool few encounters on along the way. Like... A Beldum. Interesting. Um, I, I'm not certain. Let me know in the comments what um, the exact level uh, Metagross evolves. Will Dark Void to make it easier? Putting it to sleep. Just makes all encounters easier. We'll catch it then in... Let's see if we can catch it in a Great Ball. Obviously not as good as a Ultra Ball. Let's see if we can keep up... Save, we can see if we can save an Ultra Ball. One, two, three. Yeah! Well done. Flying Ghost. Interesting. We Dark Void is it. Dark Void is fighting type. That doesn't make any sense. But we shall call you... Zisco. Purely because I like the name. Oh, what else could we have had on this, on this route, route, route? An Agron, not bad. Bulky, definitely bulky. Oh, anything else? Agron, <laughs> Agron again. Okay. I like that music. Oh, hello. Hey. Hello. Why are you walking up to me? You know what I said? Interesting. Wait, really? We really taking my first step into Ganzo? Oh, we have as well. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah. That'll be where, that'll be where we're heading. To, to hopefully to the edge of Victory Road. We've got a couple of places to go through first, like the Tojo Falls. Which I think we need Waterfall for. And I haven't taught it to anything. So let me just go to Waterfall. HM07. Power 85 and Ice. It's Ice to meet you. We want to teach the Aqua because Aqua, I think, is the only one that can actually naturally learn it. And I think we're going to get rid of Soul Beam. Like, Soul Beam is really good, but as we don't have a mom with Sunny Day, it means it's just going to take two turns. And that gives, uh, you come up against, like, a Lucario. That gives your opponent, that gives the person you're facing two chances to hit you. Let's see what we have. Because we also claim an encounter in here. No, imagine if you could like ha have an encounter mid waterfall. So you're like rising up on the waterfall, and you have an encounter mid, 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 mid run. Oh, the encounter is um that's an Alakazam. I think that's a case of go to sleep. And we catch. <laughs> That's an Alakazam. You can't say no <laughs> to an Alakazam. Because no evolution needed. Just all we need is a good typing. All we need. Stealing grass. Interesting. I'm gonna call it Magico. 
because it's normally a slag attack. And if you'd like any nicknames, uh, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll use as many as I can. You can leave them for specific Pokemon, or you can leave them for any. Because depending on um, what we find, I think we'll try and sneak past you. We're still on Route 27, so this doesn't count. Look, it's another Beldum. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna do Victory Road on its own, because I think there's a rival fight in there. So we'll get to, we'll get to the edge of Victory Road. Being a bit effective being, being like right near it, basically just right at the entrance too. Which means there'll probably be no team uh, again, no no team changes. Oh uh, no! Oh, that's that's it. Hello. So yeah, we've 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 caught a couple of ones that, when leveled up, could be could be really good, like Alakazam. Depending on what it has, we hydro pumped a Charizard. Oh, it glares, it paralyzes. Oh no. Oh, come on, we need, we need the luck there. There we go. That's the luck I'm on about. A blossom. We'll switch to Como. One thing I'm happy about is that we still have Hydra, uh, the Dragonite. So we still have our starter, which makes me happy. Because when we did when we played uh, Pop on Black, we casually lost. Asata within the first, like first when we when, went when grinding. Um, no, I don't. I didn't mean to press that. No, I don't, I don't want to run from a trainer battle. Uh, what? What's Whirlpool gonna do? How much damage is Whirlpool going to do? Lots. No one can't leave me on. Yes. We got, we got through the gas. Okay, looks like we can avoid you by if we just stay north. And then also we need to head north. Going to sneak past this trainer. Okay, route 26. Is he gonna look back this way? He is. Ah, uh, didn't wait in time. Did, did, didn't leave it long enough. I'm feeling great today. I feel like I could even beat the champion. Go for it. Go for it. Then we'll beat you, and it'll be easier. <laughs> Because you'll have three Pokemon where Lance will have like five or six. Ah, uh, I didn't. I did it. That's one thing I didn't do. I didn't uh, full heal or heal. But Hydro should do damage, right? And then EQs. No damage that's going to do. We do 20 damage, we then hydro pump again for the knockout. I think there's some grass ahead, so we should be fine with encounter the encounter. 
A Sunflora. Fish to Mona. Mona, the star after. Uh, we will thrash. Might be silly. I think it'll last three turns, so we should... If, if his last Pokemon is to bug, we might get away with not getting confused. Maybe. Probably should have taken to switch. Gonna use poison gas. Oh, poison gas landed, which means poisoned. I said, what else would it mean? Poison gas is gonna paralyze you. Oh, we are confused. It's confused. Don't hit yourself. Damn it. That restored so much health. Okay, I think we switched to Hydra. That's probably gonna kill, isn't it? Do lose Hydra. I'm just talking about not losing my starter. Uh, if we if we hadn't relied that heal order, that headbutt would have killed. That kind of sucks. I reckon we'll definitely heal now. Uh, we, have high, we have full heal for Frosty, a full heal for Mona. Uh, hey, we made it all. We made it. We made it all this way on two deaths. So could be worse. We've been in tricky situations in the past. I think any Mon there loses to Bind. There's not a case of oh, you could have prevented it. I. I think the only one that probably, I probably should switch to, I probably should have switched to Aqua to try and take take it. But even then, that'd have been let me let me have lost Aqua. We'll try and sneak past. Ooh, we didn't take Lavis as a starter. But we could definitely go for a, a catch of a Tita. That void might not hit because it's primarily primarily go. That's confusing. We're gonna catch a use a ball to catch the Tyranitar. Ghost Grass by Final Evolution. That's really good. And I'm gonna call this Shadow. And a shout out to, uh, sh I think it's Shadow603 who uh, commented that he would have taken Lavatar um, if, he'd have if he'd have been on choosing. Oh, okay. That's not as good as I was hoping. Wait, well, it's good. It gives us a free. It's a free. It's a free heal essentially. But we need to. Okay, but I thought we now need to put Dragon Knight to the back just to make sure we don't switch into him by mistake.
No. They usually do a pattern and then then, then, it, then the game breaks its own pattern. So yeah. Got Shadow. Probably will use it. Worst thing, we need to replace one one day definitely because we lost we lost one. So uh, but we'll just have to see what we've got in the box. So yeah, we healed the team. So just uh, having those more restore PP as well. Because I don't think I uh, fully healed before uh, we we went to do this. I think we should be near the entrance to where we need, where we're gonna where we're gonna end. I think we'll lead this these final battle. I think there's I think there's a couple more battles. I think before we get before we get into Victory Road. This is a goon. Oh, I'm then head but one hits. So yeah, it does kind of suck that we do what we do these Dragonite. But it could have been a lot worse if we'd have lost the Oxus. I feel Deoxys is a bigger lose. Deoxys and Lapras are a bigger lose than basically than Dragonite. I don't. I think. I don't. I think. The, the other issue is I don't think any mom would survive it, especially as it's from Warlord, and I don't know where Bide counts its damage from. Off top of my, off the top of my head. So yeah, could be worse. Okay, so and that just boosts his attack, right? Yeah, it's not, not, not like it's not like it was dragon dancing. So, so yeah. We've got options. Uh, we'll heal again with a, hag with a super potion because I don't think we took that much damage. No. I think this might be the last battle. It. I'll look in the box because I think we. I think I'll definitely replace. I'll definitely replace uh, Dragonite for next episode because I feel that a team of six through Victor Order will be better than a team of five. And I'll just see what's in the box to see what could be at the most effective for us. And whatever is the most effective is the mon I'll take. Give it an air slash back. I didn't do much at all. Um, that buffed by the hail, we buffed by the hail. We waterfall, see which waterfall does. It is power 85, so. Could do some decent damage. Just kind of sucks it with lost our last, last, last after. It's one of the moments when you. Is then you put things into the, it's like you put things into the, uh, the universe, and you're like, oh, that kind of sucks. It's, it's really good that we've kept our starter for for as long as we have, because like the last run, the last time we lost it right away, and then the game's like, hmm, bye, abiding whale lord, never fun. 
for that person should be beat now. What didn't help us is the fact that we, because I didn't have anything that was super active against it. We allowed, um, so when I switched it, I allowed the heal order, which isn't great. So it's probably my mistake. I probably should have just uh, tried to hope we could get a flinch with like Zen Headbutt. But I didn't, I just wanted to switch, I switched basically right away. So yeah, like, it's not as though it was like a weak bite as well, it was like a full unleash of everything, so... And I don't know where all the specific stats. Oh no, there's one more battle. Uh, I think we'll, we'll let, uh... Deoxys lead a battle because it's not like a battle this episode. It's not it hasn't been the basic front of the party, sorry. What are you gonna have as a final battle of the episode? Hopefully things that I can just go poke poke win. A wobbuffet. Let's use Gust. How much is Gust gonna do? Just don't have Destiny Bond like you usually do. It's slowly going down, slowly going down. One hit! Super effective. Good. <laughs> Good. And then Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf are normally, normally, normally grass types, so I'm gonna go Astonish. Use nature, nature will turn into earthquake. How much is EQ gonna do? <laughs> I was expecting earthquake to do so much more. No. Yeah. We're at the Pokemon Memorial section gate as well, which is well, which was well, and the yeah, effort. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass the edge of edge. Please, oh, go right, go around there. Okay, so that'll be where we end this episode. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.